Well, the Pac-12 championship is just two days away now in Las Vegas. In its final year, the championship game sets up a rematch between Oregon and the Washington Huskies. We have team coverage tonight. Nick Orsini and Cam Derby are both in Vegas for a preview of the Pac-12 championship game and our coverage sponsored by Lander King's Custom Woodworking. Yeah, well, Renee, Bo Nix has played in pretty much every single game you can think of as a college quarterback, yet somehow he has not played in a conference championship game. Well, that's all going to change Friday at 5 o'clock when his Ducks take on the Washington Huskies for a chance at that Pac-12 title. Now, the last time that these two teams played, Nix actually had a pretty good game. He was 33 for 44, 337 yards and two touchdowns. Both he and Michael Panix Jr. regarded as potential Heisman Trophy finalists. And when we spoke to Nix on Tuesday, we asked him how much that loss in Seattle has stuck with him. Yeah, uh, and that the um, loss column, that one next to it, um, it's been with us all year, and I think it's really turned our season around. I think we've responded really well because of it. I think we've uh, hit our stride. I think we're playing really good. I think we're playing really well together. I think we've uh, put together our rhythm, and you know, I think we um, have just gotten a lot better as the year has gone on. Well, the defenses will definitely have their hands full with both the Huskies and Ducks offense. And speaking of defense, I'll toss it over to Cam with a look at the Ducks D. Well, this game could very well come down to which defense is able to figure out the other quarterback first. Bo Nix and Michael Penix Jr. are both unworldly when it comes to throwing the football down the field, but both of them can be extremely dangerous if you lose containment and let those guys get outside the pocket. Both of them have gone in different directions since that last game in Seattle, and both of the teams only got one sack on the other quarterback in that game. Statistically, since then, Michael Penix Jr.'s production has dropped off a little bit. There's been a lot of speculation on if Penix has been playing injured in recent weeks. But for Oregon defensive lineman Brandon Dorless, the strategy to containing Penix Jr. is really about getting him to move. You know, it's not just like it's hitting him all the time. You know, if you just get his feet off the spot, you know, it, it affects him a lot. You know, Coach Tosh said, like, he's just standing in the pocket, just standing there. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. But you get that feet moving out of his spot and don't let him get the rhythm of throws, you know, he's, he's a standard quarterback. And we talk about the different directions that both of these teams have gone since that three-point loss for Oregon and Seattle back in week seven. It's been all blowouts for the Oregon Ducks since then. The Washington Huskies have had to fight in very close games several times, but that may not tell the whole story for this number three Washington team. But if you want to hear me explain a little more, you're going to have to check in tonight at 6. For right now, though, live on the Las Vegas Strip with coverage sponsored by Lander King's Custom Woodworking, Cameron Derby, KEZI 9 Sports.